everyone understands that the values in New York City are socially liberal or pro-abortion or pro-gay marriage, focus around money and the media. And, and I would note, indeed, the reason I said that is I was asked, my friend Donald has taken to at his events playing Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. Um, and I was asked what I thought of that, and I said, well, if he wanted to play a song, maybe he could play New York, New York. All right, that and, is and, funny. Ted Cruz is not funny. I'm sorry, if I were a booking agent, I wouldn't book his act. That's not funny, Ted. No, no, no. If Ted Cruz wanted to play a song, he could probably play an old Havana tune. You want to go there? I happen to like Cuban people, but that's what he's trying to say here. What, everyone's like Castro because they're from Cuba? I mean, that's what he's implying. I'm from California. I, Michael Savage, have been here since 1974. So I consider myself a Californian. Am I like San Francisco in values? In some ways, I am. I think some of the values are wonderful in San Francisco. But in terms of all the value, how do you say a person represents all of the value? What's her name? Pelosi represents San Francisco values, which are anti-American, anti-family, anti-church, anti-God, uh, et cetera. Now we go back to Trump's comeback, which is what this is really all about. And you want to see how fast this guy is on his feet and how... He got rich just because he knows how to get back at his enemies. In this debate, he comes back the way he's going to come back to China, the way he's going to come back at Japan, the way he's going to come back at all of our domestic and foreign enemies. Listen to the comeback in clip seven. Conservatives actually do come out of Manhattan, including William F. Buckley and others, just so you understand. Oh. And just so if I could, because he insulted a lot of people, I've had more calls on that statement that Ted made. Uh, New York is a great place. It's got great people. It's got loving people, wonderful people. When the World Trade Center came down, I saw something that no place on earth could have handled more beautifully, more humanely than New York. You had two 100... That's it. Cruz Join the fun. Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-7. Conservatives actually do come out of Manhattan, including William F. Buckley and others, just so you understand. And just so well, if I could, because right. he is... Had... This was handled well last night by Trump, and Cruz showed himself, I don't know, to be not me. I wouldn't say mean-spirited. That doesn't mean that much to me. Anyone who's uh, an alpha male is mean-spirited when need, when, uh, when need be. And if they're not, they shouldn't run for the office. I frankly want a mean-spirited alpha male winning the presidency. Because uh, I really want someone to take on the enemies of America, domestic and foreign. And it's not going to be done by some one who is not really that mean. You need meanness and intelligence. So, look, the New York Times is gloating over this in their stupid headline. Trump and Cruz take feud off stage after a bit of debate. Cruz emerges as a skilled and slashing opponent. Anything they can do to take down Trump. Here's a guy who they don't like anyway, and they know he can't win against Hillary, meaning Cruz. They know that Trump will, will will swamp her, so they're trying to take him down through the Cruz thing. That's all. <clears throat> Let's go to the callers for one minute. Carry on KSFO. What's your point, please? All right. I've been a fan since 2001. I love you. Hey, uh, yeah. What? What? This is. It's open to interpretation, subtext, context. Cruz is talking about New York in this fashion, not about 9/11. He's talking about the blue state, Charles Charlie Rangel mentality, teachers union, teachers that can't get fired, doing drugs. He's talking. Wait, about all, wait. All of that is true, but he says that Donald Trump embodies these values. Do you believe that? Well, he was, yeah, but you got to remember, I, I like Trump. I mean, I, I, I would love anybody. To, I, I hate K, uh, Hillary Clinton's a, a, a psycho, but I definitely <laughs> would love to have Trump in there. But he was a liberal at one time. Yes, that's probably true. But uh, there are other people who were liberals at one time. Well, Reagan, you, know, people, you know, people's politics do change if they're an adult. Politics emerge if you're an adult. If Obama had been an adult, and if Michelle Obama had been an adult, when she started out, she said she's always been, uh, what'd she say? She was never proud to be an American until this day when they made her pro vice, or whatever she was, is a first lady. 
if she actually analyzed what she has gotten from this nation and how kind the white people are for voting for her and that they're not racist, her politics would have evolved by now after seven years. But I see no sign of evolution in either of the Obamas. I see more, I see more meanness than when they started. So what I'm saying is maybe Trump was a liberal at one time on some social issues. Maybe he has emerged. Maybe he hasn't emerged. We don't know yet. And I know your, your trepidation is that he really is a social liberal and a fiscal conservative. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I don't know if I would say that. One thing I do know something about, and that's Islam. And I'm going to tell you something what Barack Hussein practices. Well, wait, hold it. Let's not go there for right now. Let's hold it. Who is it who's made Islam the issue? It was Trump who made it an international issue, right? What's that? Thank you for the call. It was Trump who made Muslims an international issue. How can you fault him on that and call him a liberal for that? In fact, Germany is now starting to think that Trump is right. By the way, look at the headline, even on the psycho New York Times, which certainly represents New York values, sexual assaults in Germany point to a culture clash. Oh, really, do they? There's a culture clash between radical Islam and our way of life. They just discovered that. The old lady, the gray old lady suddenly discovered that. Yeah, OK, you get the picture. I'm not going to relive the entire debate, but I will play parts of it. He's then asked on a Muslim ban in clip eight, and it's worth listening to. It's about uh, uh, less than a minute. Here is Trump on whether he would reconsider a Muslim ban. Listen Mr. to Trump, 08. Your comments about banning Muslims from entering the country created a firestorm. According to Facebook, it was the most talked about moment online of your entire campaign, with more than 10 million people talking about the issue. Is there anything you've heard that makes you want to rethink this position? No. No. And that's the end of the story. We have to stop with political correctness. We have to get down to creating a country that's not going to have the kind of problems that we've had with people flying planes into the World Trade Centers, with the with the shootings in California, with all the problems all over the world. I just left Indonesia, bomb, 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 bomb. We have to find out what's going on. I said temporarily. I didn't say permanently. I said temporarily. So that makes him a liberal? So, you know, <clears throat> think about what you're saying. Are you worried about what he may have believed in 20 years ago? Look at what he's saying today, and I don't believe he's saying it just for effect. So uh, last night was a big deal. It was a very big deal. And the story of the president lying about the economy and lying about the military and about Kerry lying through his teeth about what happened. The defense secretary should be sacked immediately for lying about what happened with those boats. That's a huge issue, by the way. I don't know that we're going to get to this. And this is for the potheads in the audience, those of you who listen just to hate me. Cannabis-related painkiller trial disaster leaves one brain dead and five injured. One person has been left brain dead and five others are in serious condition after taking part in a clinical trial in France of an experimental painkiller made by Portuguese drug company Bial, uh, the French health ministry said today. The medicine involved works by tar the medicine involved works by targeting the body's pain controlling endocannabinoid system which is also responsible for the human response to marijuana. The ministry said the six volunteers in Western France have been in good health until taking the oral medication at a private facility that specializes in carrying out clinical trials. All men were healthy, aged 28 to 49. One started taking the marijuana derivative on January 7th. One person started feeling ill on Sunday and the other five afterwards. You hear this? Cannabis-related painkiller trial disaster leaves one brain dead and five injured. Don't jump and assume that medical marijuana is as safe as the drug peddlers tell you. It's like any other drug. It has never been put through proper clinical trials. Oh, you may feel good eating that brownie. I get it. 
but you don't know what the long-term effects are, you should think about that carefully. Don't call me on anything to do with marijuana because the pot defenders are overwhelmingly boring and stupid. WABC Joe, welcome to the Savage Nation. Hello, Michael. Uh, with uh, the visual effects that Trump uh, uh, produces is incredible. He's a genius. His facial expressions, those, those come out. Even when he went after Cruz with the 9-11 and, and, and Cruz was just uh, standing there with that funny face. It was like, oh, yeah, what did I do? Uh, Trump is just a master at this, and that's why I... And Trump, uh, you know, it's interesting. You're raising an issue I've never discussed, but Trump's faces have changed. He's got him down now pretty good, doesn't he? The masks of disdain, the masks of uh, uh, condemnation, the masks of... Uh, he's got pretty good uh, facial s uh, expressions, doesn't he? Yeah, the non-verbal communication is, is very effective to people. You remember in the, in the Nixon, the Nixon debate with Kennedy, right? The visual. It's very visual. Uh, and, I really uh, don't remember it at all. I paid no attention to Nixon versus Kennedy. I was a young guy. I didn't care very much about politics at that time. Truthfully, I was more interested in the girl's ponytail in front of me, uh, in the desk in front of me, and uh, if she'd go out with me. So I really don't remember the Nixon debate. No, but uh, Trump's nonverbal communication is a very big story. There's no question about it. So do you think Cruz is out of the box now, finished? Michael, also with Kasich, if you look at him, his hit, one hand is down. Another? Uh, they don't hear me anymore. I think no... the feedback system shot my, my uh, call screening. Let me ask you again. Do you think Cruz is finished? Me? Hello? Hey, you. Caller, do you think Cruz is finished? Yeah, I think he's very weakened, absolutely. But I think he was actually working for Trump. It actually helped promote Trump tremendously. Oh, he, like, well, wait, he didn't. He, you don't think he consciously they they worked out a scam where he uh, where he'd work for Trump? Do you? No, I don't. He didn't do it consciously, but he absolutely helped Trump. No, you're saying inadvertently it. he wound up supporting Trump. That's what you're saying. Really? And Look, the main thing is is that we we have a real debate. You know, one thing we can be proud of as conservatives is that we actually debate issues and we can see how phony the liberals are. They don't even debate anything. We can see what a fixed system the communists really run. All you're going to do is see the fact that there is no debating at all on the Democrat side. There are no debates, no discussion, no issues permitted to be put up on the stage. It's just her with that fake Cheshire cat uh, scalpel face. I can't take it anymore. Forget Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is a fall guy for her. You talk about a setup. I'm very proud to tell you it's great to be a conservative right now. And especially in talk radio, i got to tell you that. You may not know this, but Donald Trump has actually possibly saved talk radio in a certain way. Do you know that? Do you realize he's made it okay to be bold, outspoken, and express conservative values as i've been doing for so many years borders language and culture do you realize he's made it acceptable to the mainstream where people are saying you know he's not really that bad in the beginning maybe oh i don't know about him he's too bright ah, he's a phony he's just a shaman all of a sudden everything's changed the more they see him the more they like him especially when you compare him to the harridan from chappaqua and the fact is is that trump has made conservatism mainstream I hope he wins. I think he would, unless it's a, a rigged system where the Republicans undermine him by selling out the voting machines, whatever they may do. They're running scared. They're terrified. The, the, all the men in the bad suits. Oh, the men in the bad suits are really frightened. But as I say, I, I'll stand by that statement. Trump has made talk radio a winning proposition for those of us on the conservative side. I've been working uh, in, in the wilderness for 20 years where things I said may have been good for the audience, but the people at the top probably were a little leery of it. They were afraid of it. They were afraid of some of the things that I was saying, borders, language, and culture. It became like, oh, really? what is he talking about? No one believes in those things. Well, guess what they found out? They found out that everyone who is an American and loves America wants our borders secure, wants English as the official language, and wants the culture of America reaffirmed and supported. So in that regard, he's made my message, my motto, borders, language, culture, acceptable if not fashionable. And that's why I supported him from day one. It's because what he was saying sounded eerily like me. If I were running for president, I got news for you. When Trump first started to run, 
And I don't even remember when that 